by and leave the water running for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, can I share what I made today with the class? Of course you can, Jesse yes. Bear. Yes. Can we scroll back up? There was a message from Tony that we missed a second ago about cookie dough something. Oh, put a cookie dough in instead of graham crackers. Here you go. Uh, that um, would actually be really good. A cookie I dough crust. Done it as a bar, like as like a in a casserole dish, as a, instead of a sheet pan. Heck yes. Love red potatoes. Red potatoes are really good. Like like I said, just those just looked a little. Uh... We have more red potatoes. We have russet potatoes. We have celery, carrots, onion. We have all the stuff. We can just do fresh. So. Fair enough. I'd rather do fresh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a nice cut of meat. You see that, chat? That is a nice cut, dude. Wow. All right, cut into some bite-sized pieces so that we can sear in the bottom of the Instant Pot, and then we'll deglaze with some of our broth, which is made with a ham bone, carrot, celery, garlic, onion, parsley, peppercorn. Oh, sorry, baby. I'm off to bed. All right, no worries, Davenport. Have a good night. Thanks for being here. Heck yeah. If you got work at 8 a.m., brother, get some sleeps. Have some a good day at work tomorrow, my Heck friend. Heck yeah, yo. What are you doing? Leave the fat in there, right? No, I'm going to just separate it so that we can like kind of pull it out so it's all fat pieces. You know what I mean? Oh, fair that enough. That way we're enough. not eating it, but it cooks, you know. The flavor. The flavor. It's gorgeous. Can you give me a plate, please? Actually? Yes, ma'am. You don't need to call me ma'am. That's really not necessary. Sorry, yes ma'am. Worse. How is that worse, ma'am? <laughs> I apologize. Stop calling me ma'am. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm a teasing. Oh yeah, dude. This is a really weird cut of meat. Like, I didn't realize how dark it was. Yeah. It's like, like a really like vibrant like red. It almost looks like Oh, well, it's vacuum sealed too, so keep that in mind. Fair enough. It's about the same color as the steaks we had the other night. So it's close, yeah. Tone, yeah. So what what part of the uh, the cow is is this? I think pot roast is usually shoulder, but I don't know. Chat, does anybody know what part of the cow is pot roast? I'm just curious because this is a really really nice cut of meat. Like it's almost like I'm wondering if it would grill up like a steak i'm almost wondering if like this is a cut of meat that a lot of people don't buy that is worth more than they're charging yeah it's the inside part thank you pizza <laughs> um can you read what jesse bear made jesse bear said i did it all by hand it was quite the process so proud of myself first time making bread and rolls second Ooh. time making lemon bars no Oh, I love lemon yeah. bars. I haven't made those in years, probably since college, actually. Heck yeah. Here, I can move over so you can. No, chat no, no, better. you're good. I was just scrolling up just to make sure. Dude, North, you're North. Darn it, I cannot break that habit now. Sorry, Nick, you are absolutely right. This is a really, really nice looking cut of meat. It That's is. why I was wondering like, what part of the cow it is, because um, I'm wondering if it would cook up like a steak. I mean, it's gonna sear a little bit. It's just gonna be shred. It's gonna be a cross between brisket and steak. Is gonna be a way to understand it, I think. I mean, I've had I've had pot roast. I'm just like I said, it was just a, more of a curiosity kind of kind of deal. Yeah, that's uh, what I was saying. I thought it was shoulder. Yeah, first shoulder. or second shoulder. Okay. And it would grow up like a steak. Yeah. So it's Celtic. I'm just I'm just wondering because I would, I've always wanted like a nice like giant cut of meat for a steak. I mean, I want to get another one of these already. This is a quality cut. Tyson is a good brand. We like Tyson. They're affordable. They make good quality cuts of meat. Yeah, they really do. I didn't know Tyson did beef. Tyson does um, beef. And actually, in some states, they do pork. They don't sell pork here. But um, they do beef, pork, and chicken. Huh. Just got back from walking my dog. Your face. Oh, hi, Harley. What's wrong with my face? What up, Harley? Is there something on it? Do I need to wipe it off? <laughs> what a big nose you have there. Harley, it's not nice to make fun of people's noses. Actually, can you take these off? It's getting kind of hard to see. The wire, the fat, oh, I know, right? 
Yeah, I mean, this looks, dude. I, that's what I'm saying. It's I a think nice cut. I think this was fourteen ninety nine, including the veggies. That's why I was wondering if it cooks up like a, like a real steak. I mean, it looks like it would. Like, I mean, I don't see any difference as far as like texture or anything. Oh, hi, Adam. Adam, what up, buddy? Um, I'll double check the price of it. We got it delivered by Kroger. I mean, it is slicing through so thin. Are you seeing that? Or so, I, like, smoothly. Well, I sharpened all the knives again today. Still. I say sharpen. I did the witch, witch of bobber. <laughs> okay, so it's a weird strawberry cheesecake. I know, right? Right. <laughs> the cheesecake's in the oven. How are you, Gizzo? Good to see ya. God, imagine it. How, how much is like does this weigh? I don't know. Um, I'll have to look at the package again. It, on the, um, the app. I mean, I'm guessing, like, two pounds. Yeah, our steaks the other night were seven ounces each. So I would love just a steak with a like this, this size. This is definitely more and a, than and our potato. steaks. Our steaks were seven ounces each, which would total just under a pound. Right. This is easily two total. pounds. Yeah. Biggest strawberry ever, so dark and juicy. That's what I'm thinking. I would think we do an epic steak night. Yeah. Like, oh, you know what we could do? We could do that as a video, as like a challenge. Yeah. Grilling up a big ass steak. Can we eat the whole thing? Hi, Coward Creek. Thank you so much for the raid earlier. How Heck are yes. you? Nice to meet you. I hope you're having a fabulous evening. So I can get this. Tell me work. a little bit about your stream and what you did today. Chat said you were prepping for a barbecue competition. Tell me the oh, things. Oh, shoot. Let's go. Um, my name is Kyle. This is my other half, Funky. We are Hello. a date night in. We do dinners, drinks, desserts, and date nights. I'm not sure if you just kind of found us and thought of raiding or if someone recommended, but we're so glad to have you. Thank you for blind raiding into the channel. Heck yeah, Chat, dude. one more time. Let's go follow Coward Creek Barbecue. You know we love to support other streamers um, and show some love. That's how we all grow, you know? Let's um, go. And freaking appreciate you so much. Coward, since you're new to the channel, um, we do food and drink from Orlando, Florida, dinners, drinks, desserts, and date nights. And everybody who raids in, subs, gifts a sub, does a dono, bits, etc., gets to have their name written up on the board. So you can choose your favorite color and we'll write your name up. Heck yes. And what part of the world are you joining from, if you don't mind me asking? Kyle is short. Adam, get out. Behave. We have new people here. Um, Ooh, Adam got in trouble. <laughs> this meal was made for me, steak and cheesecake. I'm in heaven. I'm so excited oh, because it looks yeah. amazing. It looks so good. I think it's going to be fantastic. You're from Texas. No way. What part? We have several food and drink streamers in Texas I can recommend if you don't know several people already. Um, Lomas Nikki, Pantry Elf, Dana's Kitchen, Tex AG for Life, Chef Steve 330, Get Creme Delish. There's so many amazing food and drink streamers out there if you're not already connected. Dude, Texas um, is the is, food scene. Is Darth, Rebe Darth Rebeck is out there too. I think so, yeah. Um, League City. Okay, I don't know where that is, but I know several people in like the Dallas, Houston, Austin, Fort Worth areas. Um, Wait, Cerise Jubilee is out there. I'm trying to remember where she's, I don't, yeah, I don't remember where she's uh, at. Dash of Joy is out there. A lot of guys. Oh. There's so many food and drink streamers in Texas. There really are. Heck yeah. They just did a big meetup back in November, and we were sad we couldn't go. Yeah. Two and a half hours of meat trimming competition tomorrow in San Antonio. Ooh. Two briskets, four whole chickens, four racks, two pork butts. Oh my gosh. I'm Heck in for yeah. day Oh my gosh. Coward Creek. I got it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna send you a whisper after stream, or maybe tomorrow, um, because I work full time in addition to streaming, so I might it might be tomorrow. But there's so many people I need to connect you to if you don't know food and drink in Texas already. Chef Steve 330 and Get Creme Delish in particular are building a food trailer out in Texas and they are gonna be raising money for charity and selling the food. And they're making things like garlic bread cones stuffed with pasta. It's insane. And there's stuff. so many great people who stream from their houses out there as well. Um, and it's a great community and everyone loves each other. So how long have you been a streamer if you don't mind me asking? And pick a color by the way so I can write your name. Yes, just north, I would say. They're, they're near Houston, I know that, because Steve moved from Dallas-Fort Worth to Houston. Hmm. I say, I know he's been a couple places down there. Yeah, um, Coward, are you on Discord? Heck post, yeah. Go in Discord and um, post a pic there, and I can tag a bunch of them and get them to come and check out your content, too. Because um, everybody in the food and drink community is all about supporting each other. Heck like, yeah. I, I can We're guarantee you, I can message any one of those people, and they'll be like, oh my god, of course I'll follow. You know, because that's how we are. That's how food and drink is. Heck yes, community, baby. Swaps to a date night in so her goats have something to watch while they're being milked. Well, <laughs> hi goat farmer. Let's go. Six years, but did all gaming before now. No way. Okay, well, welcome to food and drink. Heck yeah. Very supportive community. Heck Not yeah. that gaming isn't wonderful, but food and drink is tight knit, 
wholesome, wonderful, in a way that gaming is sometimes not. Not always not, but sometimes not. Um, and I say that because my channel was built out of his, and his channel is primarily gaming. Um, and now we both do streams on both, but um, yeah, definitely I was built out of a gaming channel, and I know that it's not quite the same in terms of engagement, community, it's just, it's just not quite. Um, and there's, there's pos there's pros and cons to both, but yeah. Um, definitely I'd love to pick your brain and get you connected. There's a bunch of food and drink streamers here hanging out in the chat tonight as well. Um, our mod, Kalino12, does food streams. Um, so many amazing people. Our other mod, Chef Nagin. Yo, Coward, thank you for that follow. Bazinga. Appreciate you. All right, so the cheesecake is in the oven for 76 more minutes. We're about to get the pot roast seared up and then get it going. Um, I appreciate you so much. Cheers. Adam, thank you for the work, buddy. Joined the cord. Perfect! There's the food picture section. Go ham. If you like pets, we have lots of cute cats and dogs um, that we, everybody shares pictures of. We have two cats in this house, a kitten and a nine-year-old cat. Um, and then we have, you know, all different things about... Um, there's a drink club, so if you're a beer or liquor connoisseur we have that we've got a question of the day to get to know everybody all sorts of things trans dolphin says cheese love cheese what's your favorite cheese can i show you guys several cheeses that i love i think monster is my favorite i can't have monster i know you can have monster guys several cheeses that you need in your life splurges but not like fancy like Expensive cheese board splurge, but like medium splurge. Cheese. Okay. Cheese. Splurge. Worth it. Caramelized onion jack from Boar's Head. So good. Slices. Literally delicious. They also make a block that you can shred. Heck yes. Sargento creamery mozzarella for the epic cheese pull that you've needed your whole life that you didn't know that you needed. Oh, it is like best over cheese the pull top I've cheese literally pull. ever had in my entire life. Like, I think we need to do a. a, a Oh, that could be a fun redemption. Yeah. Seeing how like how long of a cheese pull we can get from a grilled cheese or yeah. something. And then Sargento Aged Reserve Series Italian Blend. Um, it's mozzarella, fontina, parmesan, romano, and Asiago. But this incredible cheese pull, the caramelized onion jack, incredible flavor. Oh, yeah. This one, delicious on pizza. So good. It's not moldy. It's not moldy, I promise. Burn up that moldy crap. No, 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 Damn. not moldy. Goat cheese. Ooh, let's go. Oh, green. You got it. You got it, Calvert. I got you. Heck Thank yes. you so much. This is Bacardi for anyone who's new. She's just a baby. Just a baby. She's what, 10 weeks now? Uh, about 11, I thought. 11, yeah. Nope. Coward. Yeah. Literally, I found this cheese by accident. So we put up a goal on Twitch. Oh, what am I drinking? I am drinking a um, a bullet uh, bourbon on the rocks. Heck yes. Caramelized onion jack cheese, yes. So we did a goal a while back on Twitch for a charcuterie board night. And when we redeemed it, I went to Publix, because we live in Florida, looking for cheeses. And I found several that I wanted to get and didn't end up getting right away. And then I went back looking for this new Belgium fat tire ale aged cheddar that they didn't have but i saw the boar's head and decided to grab it so i got their aged gruyere and the caramelized onion jack and we had it and it was delicious and then we took the leftover cheese of that block and cut it up and put it in filo dough with pepperoni and so salami good. and it's like literally my new favorite thing filo dough is easily one of my top five ingredients this year so far yes new kitty oh my god blazer wife did you not meet picard yet we adopted her right before christmas she is about 11 weeks now. She was a rescue. I say we adopted, we rescued. Um, a stray cat in front of my work had kittens right before Christmas and Florida was facing a freeze warning around that time. And she and all her siblings and the mom were gonna freeze to death. And um, Maybe not to death, but they would've. They would've been they, She was what, four weeks when we got her? Four weeks, yeah. So there's no telling. But, um, yeah, so basically one of the girls who works there and her adult daughter took them all in overnight, posted on Facebook, got the mom and two of 